Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another lesson of grammar. Today, we will talk about sentences, what they are, their purpose, and structure. When we talk, we do not think in sentences, as we focus on communicating by combining words with body gestures, intonation, emphasis, or simply pauses. However, when reading, the writer is not next to us to hear the sounds or see the gestures that we make, for which punctuation signs play a major role. Thus, to share ideas, we combine words and carefully use specific punctuation signs to form sentences. So, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that uses a subject, a verb, and a punctuation sign to express a complete thought. Form a simple sentence by using a complete subject and a complete verb. Let us look at one example. The competitor ran. Competitor is the subject, ran is our verb, and obviously the sentence ends with a punctuation sign. However, when writing we want to add meaning to a simple sentence by modifying the subject or the verb to say more about them. For example, Instead of saying, the competitor ran, we could say, the marathon competitor ran every morning. Sentences are often categorized by their purposes. They can be declarative, interrogative, imperative, or exclamatory. Are you giving me information? Well, that's a declarative. For example, she runs every morning. A declarative sentence ends in a period. Are you asking for information? Well, that's interrogative. For example, why does she run every morning? As you see, an interrogative sentence ends in a question mark. Are you telling someone what to do? That's imperative. For example, please run every morning. Or run every morning. An imperative sentence can end in either a period or an exclamation point. Are you reacting with surprise, disbelief, or some other strong emotions? Well, that's exclamatory. Let us look at two examples. She actually runs every morning. I can't believe she runs every morning. An exclamatory sentence ends in an exclamation point. Now, the way you construct a sentence controls how much information it gives. And here we identify also four types of sentence constructions. Simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences, and compound complex sentences. Let us look at the first type. The simple sentence is made up of a single independent clause or a complete subject and a complete verb. For example, Mary jogs every morning. A compound sentence is made of two independent clauses joined either by a comma and a coordinating conjunction or by a semicolon. Let us look at an example where the two independent clauses are joined by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. 
she was an extremely disciplined and focused person. Koma and her friends truly admired her. Now, let us look at another sentence where we join the two independent clauses with a semicolon. She runs every morning. She works out every afternoon. Another type of sentence is the complex sentence. You form complex sentences by joining an independent clause and a dependent clause. For example, because she wanted to stay in shape, the marathon competitor ran every morning. Here, the dependent clause starts with the subordinating conjunction because. When the dependent clause comes first, follow it with a comma. If you place the dependent clause first, like in this case, do not use a comma. The marathon competitor ran every morning because she wanted to stay in shape. The fourth sentence structure type is a compound complex. A compound complex sentence uses at least one dependent clause plus two or more independent clauses. These sentences contain a lot of information. For example, because she wanted to stay in shape, the marathon competitor ran every morning. She was an extremely disciplined and focused person, and her friends truly admired her. Combining ideas into one sentence can make your writing more effective than using simply a string of repetitive shorter sentences. Try combining these sentences using what you know about purpose and structure as well as correct punctuation. Let's look at this example of a string of repetitive shorter sentences. His name is Michael. He's a college student. He was exhausted. He slept late. He was studying for an exam last night. He was in the library. He really wanted to get a passing grade. As you see, it does pass the message. However, it becomes boring. Here is one way to combine these closely related ideas into one sentence. Because Michael, a college student, was studying for an exam last night in the library, he was exhausted and slept late. He really wanted to get a passing grade. Well, that is all for today, my friends. If you would like to learn more, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for today and see you next time.